What's up, everybody? I am Snigenhoff, and we are back playing m and in EU4, and may you all be favored with the future of your choice. We're playing Muscovy today in the last episode. It was a long time since I recorded the last episode. I honestly can't quite remember. We probably took over Bellu Zero over here. That kind of stuff. But we're going to keep on keeping on. How long is my truce with these guys? Five years? And... You're at war with people, but you're currently winning. And Lithuania is at war with Novgorod. Speaking of Lithuania, how many favors do I have with them? I have 10 favors with Lithuania. Hmm. It may be about time to go to war with the White Horde, calling in Lithuania. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Also, Hungary is putting it to the Ottomans right now. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Well, let's go ahead. Actually, there's a couple things I want to look at real quick. Um, revoke privileges. I think I do need to get rid of some of these privileges they have, because they have a ton. gonna make my stability increase in interval go up, but we are at two stability already. What are the bad ones? This is yearly lowered army tradition, hot raised tech cost. Are these are just all corruption? Raised advisor costs and lowered possible advisors, which yeah I have like no. I have barely any advisors right now. Stability... No, no, that's the negative. I feel like I should definitely get rid of one. Just to make my corruption go down. Yeah, let's get rid of that. That was the greater nobles. Let me look at the lesser nobles. I can't... Wait, did I just revoke? I guess you can only revoke one privilege from anybody. And then... Uh, I'm trying to see if I want to offer favors to anybody. Wait. Exit. Not you guys. You guys. Offer favors. 70 ducats for a gift? That's a lot of ducats. Definitely don't want to do that. 10 ducats for a gift is a bit more reasonable. I'm going to hold off on this for... Oh, how much am I making? Ducat and a half. 70 ducats for 5 loyalty. Uh, I think I'll hold off for now. Alright, now we're going to unpause. I have just the one claim over here. We should probably get at least one more before I declare war. And we need to make sure Lithu Lithuania will actually join, you know. Because <clears throat> they're in quite a war as well. When is my truce with these guys up? 1397. A little ways away from that as well. Lesser nobles promote in Mozakuts. After many years of patient consolidation, the lesser nobles have advanced to their position and emerged as greater nobles. This will increase the total power and influence of the greater nobles in your country while diminishing the power of the lesser nobles. We can manage them. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. They promote there as well. Greater nobles generally accept reforms. Your diplomat, diplomatic and political maneuverings had some success in getting greater nobles to tolerate your reforms. Most consider it fair and necessary, though it is important to recognize that such adjustments within your society always run the risk of an unanticipated con consequence. So I have a 50% chance of losing one stability and a 25% chance of losing one stability, but I didn't lose any stability. So I think I just got really lucky there. Lesser nobles promoting there, and lesser nobles pro promoting all over the place.
We're also kind of trying to wait for more manpower to tick back up. Um, and that is being slowed down by overextension. I've cored everything I need to core. I should turn off all of these. Uh... Set monthly budget. Already on this. Form alliance with Tver, vassalize Yaroslav, or our manpower reserves need to recover. Guess we're going with manpower reserves. I don't love it, but I think that's what's needed right now. Hopefully, they don't take any land off of Novgorod. How are you guys doing in this war? You're actually losing it. Corruption is still growing a little bit. Not nearly as much, though. Greater nobles are still contributing like 80 corrupt point eight corruption to it, though. <clears throat> Poland has disputed succession, but I doubt we'd be able to jump on that. Naples. Alright, finishing up all these cores, which is nice. I can make states, and I think I'm going to do that. And this isn't going to be done for another five years. These should get estates here pretty soon. Watch Lithuania get beat in this war, that would be so disappointing. It's so very much my luck. Fort defense and siege ability. Stability increase in interval and prestige decay. How close might be to being a great power? A ways away. A ways away. And how am I doing on force limit? I'm actually one too many. Well, that stinks. I don't want to keep paying for having one too many though. Uh, I should be doing something with this diplomat as well. Um, neighboring countries should be fine. And I think I'm less than five years away from getting uh, getting Gaelic and Rostov incorporated. Three years, as a matter of fact. So that'll be fun. I doubt that they got these cord. We'll have these cord in time. So I'll we'll see how that transfers over. Press Jewish minority. Farming efficiency is twenty percent. Mild plague. Metalwork, Kremlin in Moscow, we built that. 900 ducats of urban infrastructure. Cenobium, that it brings up the settler increase. Local wealth is 250 ducats. And then Moscow has just a local trade power, just in general. Okay. Just like taking a look at some of these provinces. I'd like to expand the bureauc bureaucracy. Huh. 
I mean, there's still tons and tons about this mod that I don't know about. That's for sure. Holy Roman Empire is close to instituting another reform. Um, I mean, if you guys wanted Condottieri, I'd hire you out because I'm Condottieri. I'd be very much willing to do that. Let me see. Where is Condottieri at? Um... Don't need to be improving relations with Novgrad anyway. I cannot rent out Condottieri to a nation that is at war with a nation we have a truce with. Oh. Well, never mind, then. I probably already knew that. Burgers gained some loyalty. Down with that. So, truce with Yaroslav in three years. Kiev in four years. Novgorod in four years. Tver in a long time. Did I finish my idea group up? No, we are almost there, finishing quantity ideas. And then I need to, you know, get back up in time and tech. Banking is moving pretty slowly across Europe. What do I have to do in Moscow to get it to start growing? Province not controlled by the burgers. Makes it go down. Provincial trade power below 8 makes it go down. So if we had province... Having a province controlled by the burghers with a, a high provincial trade power would get us there, but... Man, they're getting wrecked by the Teutons. Oh, it's all these dudes just against Lithuania? Did Lithuania declare this war? And just, like, not call anybody in? If that's the case, that was dumb. Hungarian humiliation of Ottoman. Breton succession war. Lithuanian conquest. Yep. So they're fighting the Teutons, the Livonians, the no Novgorod, Scandinavia, and Majovi-Lituva. Hungary's showing the Ottomans what for, though. Uh, I can get a claim. I think I want a claim on Tambov over here. White Horde's only at six military tech. Wonder when it's time to start building some buildings. What do these buildings even do? I can't build any fishing ports. Fires Town Hall. Okay, like okay, let's let's try it like this. What does Moscow have in terms of buildings? You got a castle, fortifications, a town hall, farm estate, a road network, a basilica, a marketplace, and a workshop. Take that, please. So we got reinforce speed up and land force limit up. Which means I can then replace the dude that I just got rid of. Yeah. Sweet. Um, back to Moscow. So what could we build here? We could build an art corporation. We could build a local university. We could improve the city hall. Or we could build a warehouse. And that's about it. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's build two more infantry over here. Get back up to our force limit. Monasticism. 
Um, how are we doing on manpower? We're actually doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, I don't know how I don't know how settler increase works. I don't know if it's like actual like other people moving from places to them. That's what that's what I assume it is. But I don't know if it's going to be just people in my country moving around, or it'll be people from other countries moving around. Let me go with that. Try to get my population up. It may not work, but do it anyway. <coughs> Come on, Lithuania. Pull it out. I don't think you're going to pull it out, though. So that leaves me stuck if I'm wanting to declare war on the White Horde. Is it 55 for another claim? 60 for another claim. still just have a really long truce timer with them. Three ducats, man. Corruption's still growing, though. And I can't revoke any more privileges, I don't think. No, I can't do it. I can only revoke one, like, every ten years, essentially. I can revoke privileges from the burgers, and I can revoke privileges from the lesser nobles. Let me see what the lesser nobles have. Point five yearly corruption. What do the let's say privileges? What do these do? Minus 25% manpower, minus 25% production efficiency, minus 30% local tax modifier. Every year there's 1%, 25% chance for 1% of the lesser nobles to convert. That's fine. 5% average autonomy in every province. Maybe the manpower one? Wait. It was the top one, I'm pretty sure. that I can introduce an heir gives me five prestige I lose 20 dip and increases the claim strength of the heir he is just a 134 I don't love him but I think I am gonna do it I don't know if I want to go around disinheriting right now Maybe shouldn't be looking a gift horse in the mouth, you know? 276. Lesser nobles un uh, upset. 50% 50 50 chance of losing a stab. Didn't lose a stab. Either we're getting super lucky or there's something bugged out about those. <laughs> One of the two. When do I get my next idea group? The next admin tech, which I should have a while from now. Quantity combines with standing army to do grand army, but I don't know if I want to do go straight into another military idea group. I probably can't. Um, so then, what else do I want? Inspirational preacher. The head of our religion is called upon Russian worshippers to take up a holy cause and give themselves completely to the, the divine. In response to his inspirational words, thousands are leaving their homes to make to take vows and be ordained. The head of the Orthodox religion had a number, a number of duties. He ordained and defrocked clerics, uh, led religious ceremonies and festivals for the nation, and acted as an advisor to the nays. Charismatic leaders had the ability to inspire people to do, to do great and sometimes terrible things. We gained zero manpower, but uh, one missionary strength. And then we have a, two 80% chances to get a theologian or an inquisitor as advisors that will be cheaper to employ. Let me see. I got this theologian. And since he is cheap, I will take him. Uh, 
Um, oh yeah, I was gonna look at ideas. So, did any of the Diplo ideas change? Aristocratic moved to diplomatic, but it looks to be mostly the same, including the military technology cost. That's interesting. Culture ideas is new. Prestige decay, yearly prestige, national tax modifier, advisor costs, yearly legitimacy, possible advisors, idea cost down, that's not bad, and technology cost down. Okay. Diplo ideas looks to be mostly the same. They may have switched this one around. I feel like that's normally a little bit fat, a little bit higher up. Espionage looks to be the same as well. Trade ideas also looks to be the same. I mean, I don't have them all like completely memorized, but other than aristocratic moving over, culture's new. But other than that, everything's pretty the same. Um. Admin looks like it's also the same. This military technology cost is new. And centralization is new. The number of states. The number of states was normally here, wasn't it? So they've changed this around some. Asset, um, ascetism ideas. Tolerance of the true faith. National unrest, production efficiency, missionary strength, and a missionary. Yearly prestige, more missionary strength, tolerance of heretics. Economic, tax modifier, reduced inflation cost, trade efficiency, provincial trade modifier. Uh, this looks. This admin tech cost is from administrative ideas. Humanist, religious unity, national unrest, tolerance of heretics, years of separatism. Promoted cultures. This looks to be the same. Popular religion ideas. Yearly prestige. Merchants. Tolerance. National unrest. Another missionary. Tolerance of heathens. Monthly war exhaustion. Then more tolerance of the true faith. Scholasticism. Missionary strength versus heretics. National unrest. Missionary. Missionary strength and advisor cost down. National unrest. Two national unrests in this one. Interesting. An extra diplomat, an extra possible advisor, and admin, admin tech down. And then state religion ideas, missionary strength, deus vault, just war. Lowered impact on stability from di diplomatic actions. Monthly war exhaustion, tolerance of the true faith. Morale of armies. And mandatory church stability increase, and then more of that. State religion ideas could be interesting. I mean, I like that morale of armies. What does that lead into? They none of these lead into anything. Economic leads into engineering. Innovative leads into democracy. And administrative leads into empire or expansion and global empire. I don't know what empire, expansion, or global empire is, but I mean I assume that would help build a big empire, and we are gonna be Russia, so that wouldn't be bad either. I wonder what engineering is like. Anyways, event. Naive relative. Wonderful. A close member of our family, of the family of our ruler, has proven utterly naive and keeps telling foreigners vital information publicly. This is technically treason, but executing a member of the royalty might cause unrest. Lose 25 admin or foreign spy detection. Foreign spy detection. Spy on me all you want. I'm an open book. But you'll have to read that open book on the next episode. Feel f uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Um, does Crimea look like it's like, you know, it's got like an eye here, an eye here, the mouth is, um, this isn't the Black Sea, this is the Black Sea. This thing, you got a mouth right here and then like two weird mutton chops. Does that look like it? I think it does. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next time.